I'm Judy Zelina. This is the Millbrook Government Channel. The Mercy Hilltop Center provides an environment for communal, educational, and physical activities. Their mission is to keep older adults as independent as for as long as possible with a focus on each individual's mind, spirit, and body wellness, enabling them to live a productive, harmonious, and healthy lifestyle. Joining us in the program today to talk about the different programs they have available to, to the public is Sarah Mariella. Sarah is the Executive Director mm -hmm. of Mercy Hilltop Center. Thank you for joining us on the program. And this is the first time you've been here. This is. I'm very excited to be here, very excited to uh, get out to the community what all it is that we do at the Hilltop Center, you know, beyond card games and, and things of that nature. Well, I think viewers, you're going to be pleasantly surprised when we talk about the Mercy Hilltop Center and you think of it as a senior center, they have so we much do. more to offer and we we're do. going to be talking about that. First off though, Sarah, can you give our viewers a little bit of uh, history sure. of the Hilltop Center? Sure. We have been, uh, we are coming up on our 50 year anniversary. Um, so that is exciting for us. I call us the best kept secret. So we are trying to break <laughs> that. You know, after 50 years, you would think that, that more people would know what it is that we do. Mm -hmm. um, we really try to meet seniors where they are and provide them with programming that is going to appeal to um, everybody, really. Right. Um, we work with individuals who are 60 plus. Um, we are a sponsored ministry of the Sisters of Mercy, um, but we are a non-denominational, so you do not have to have any religious affiliation to join us at Mercy Hilltop Center. Where are you located? We are at 444 East Grandview Boulevard. Um, so we are on top of the hill. Right. Mercyhurst University is, is down below us. Um, we are next to the Sisters of Mercy Mother House and then Mercyhurst Prep to the east. Okay. All right, so everybody knows where Mercyhurst yes. Prep is, so you... We are west of okay. Mercyhurst Prep. Okay. So. Um, now, who do, you, who do you serve? Is it just um, adults in that area? No, you do not have to be in our geographical or, or any mileage uh, from our geographical location. We serve any seniors who are independent um, from any socioeconomic background. We want everybody. We want everybody to come and see what it is that we do and how we can help them. Um, how, how are you funded? I think this, I, I found this sure. interesting. When I, when I think of you guys, you truly are a, you do get grants mm -hmm. and you do get um, some assistance from different, different organizations, but you really are a standalone nonprofit. We are. Senior center. We are, we are, we are um, funded, one of our grants is through GCAC. Mm -hmm. um, we are sponsored through the Sisters of Mercy, um, but then we are, you know, anyone working in nonprofits know that the grant world is, is changing. Um, what they require is changing, what their funding is changing. So we have had to really look at being more of a fundraising uh, donation type of nonprofit. And we are really having to put more efforts into that, which is why it's so important for us to be able to get out in the community, do things like this um, so that people know we're there, know the good work that we do, um, and, and provide us with donations so that we can keep going. What I'd also let our want to... Um relate to our viewers, let's talk a little bit about what is the difference when they think of maybe um, the Hilltop Center. Mm -hmm. Some may look at it as like an adult daycare. Right. What is the difference between right. what you do and an adult daycare? Because there are specified adult daycares, right? There absolutely are, and we are not an adult daycare. Okay. You do have to be independent, meaning you have to be able to take care of your person. Mm -hmm. um, if you are someone who goes to an adult daycare but would like to try our facility, you must bring an aide with you so that they would help you or be there to help you with any of your, your needs. Okay. So independence is, is mm -hmm. kind of the key idea for, for mm -hmm. what we do. Mm -hmm. So we don't you know, help pass meds or you know, do anything like that. Sarah, why is it so important for our seniors to have an organization or a place like Mercy Center? Sure. Um, you know, we do more than, as I said earlier, play cards with our individuals. Mm -hmm. um, they're a group of people that had professional lives, mm -hmm. um, you know, retired, and now 
aren't sure what to do with their time because their their kids are working still. Grandkids are getting older and are in college, so those needs for them, it, it's not there. They don't they're not needed in those ways. So we provide an environment in which they can come. They have community. They have friendships. We've had some marriages come out of um, our center, which is a really cool oh, thing. Is. Right? Yeah, it is. It, it is. Like it's, it, it's amazing. <laughs> you know, one of the things that I'm learning. Um, as I um, am growing in my time with Mercy Hilltop Center, is that, you know, for many years, most of our individuals have been in a position to easily give love and receive love right. um, to those around them. And as those around them change, maybe they, they move, they get busier, really what's lacking is a way for them to give love, you know, um, and I think that that's we provide that for them. We have knitters and crocheters that like nothing more than a reason to knit and crochet. Mm -hmm. You know, a way that right. they can feel, you know, I'm doing this, I'm providing, I'm filling a need. Right. Um, and I think that's the, the real heart of what it is that we do at the center. Mm -hmm. Well, you have, so, you have so much to offer. Um, Sarah, a few years ago, uh, viewers, I did get a chance to visit the center mm -hmm. and tour, and I, Honestly, I was really impressed. You guys are real. Mm -hmm. There is just so much to offer. Oh, yeah. You have so many programs, so many different things. Tell our viewers, what are some of the programs that that you have to offer? We have so many programs that I had to bring my calendar to make sure that I did not forget any of the programs. So we, you know, I'll <laughs> stick with cards because that's the easiest thing to okay. talk about. We All do right. have, you know, we have Euchre, 500, Bridge, Pinochle, um, Mahjong, we have all of those at the center that are that happen at you know specific times on specific days. We also offer dancing classes. Right now we have line dancing and beginners line dancing, which we are able to do adaptive as well. So if we have people who you know um, use walkers and can't stand as as much as everybody else, we are able to adapt so that they can participate um, and enjoy. We have knitting and crocheting. We have art classes. Um, who our art instructor Joyce is amazing. Um, so that's something we offer three times a week at our center. Um, we have fitness classes, which I think some people aren't real aware because we're not a fitness center, but we have 8,000 square feet of space. So we're able to really utilize it. We do offer silver sneakers, um, a stretch and flex class, and then we'll have different pop-up classes. We did a laughter yoga this past year with a intern, which was a blast. They ended up using um, props at the end and boas. And I was sitting in my office the one day and I hear this noise. I'm on the first floor. They were on the second. <laughs> and I'm like, what is that noise? And it's all these seniors just laughing just for no reason. Spontaneous laughter. Okay. And we know that that does so much oh, really sure emotionally does, for, for people. Mm -hmm. um, we have coming up a, um, in September, we have a uh, diabetes program which will be free to the public. Uh, we have a walking program for people that just don't wanna walk alone and wanna come and we have beautiful grounds to walk on. So we have that starting up. Um, what am, oh, um, movies. We have movies every Tuesday at one o'clock. People come in um, and watch the movie. We provide popcorn and water and lemonade and you know they come and they sit. We have a space that's set up like a living room so they come in, sit in our living room, and enjoy a movie with, you know, up to 45 other people. I was reading your <laughs> newsletter. You have good movies, too. We have very good movies. Yes, you do. We and do. What I think was fun in the summer, you have kid-friendly movies. We do. And I asked you, I said, why, why would you have, like, kid-friendly yeah. movies? The intergenerational component to what we do is really, really important. We try to bring um, kids from high schools, uh, local high schools, in to intermix with our seniors mm -hmm. because our seniors have so much to offer. We were talking earlier. Yes, they do. That the wisdom, mm -hmm. um, the life experience, the humor, they're funny. They are funny. We have um, individuals that bring a joke of books or a book, a book of jokes yes. that they tell every um, morning before they start their, their card games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's very important for us to convey um, to young people that this is a group of people that you want to get to know. They have wisdom beyond what you can imagine. Um, and just that interaction is so 
important for both of them for both of them for both of very them. much so and when we look at our seniors like we were talking they are the group that brought us to where we are today absolutely I mean we look at the city we look at Erie we look at our uh, our area from what it was 50 mm -hmm. 60 years ago this is the group that brought us absolutely to where we are today absolutely. they just have so much to offer they do and they want to keep giving yes. back mm -hmm. they they want to tell their story mm -hmm. um, you know and that's that's something that we want to encourage them to do mm -hmm. you know is to tell us more about who they are now um, these programs that we were talking about sure. too uh, is there a membership fee? Do you have to be a member to take advantage of, of these You activities? don't have to be a member. Um, you, we do have um, membership fees. They're very reasonable. $25 for an individual, $45 for a couple, and that's for the year. Uh, that's for the whole year. And what does um, that get me? That gets you access to all of our programs, mm -hmm. um, member rates for programs and non-member rates. And when I talk about rates, I'm talking about $1, $2. I'm not talking about Twenty-five dollars. Even our, our, you know, our art classes are so reasonably priced, um, and we would never want money to be a reason for people not to come and join us. You know, there's always a conversation that can be had so that we can engage and, and bring in and help as much as possible. Now, do you have um, it, lunches there? I mean, is there food available? We do not provide food. Okay. Um, that is not something that we do at our site. Okay. Um, we do. We have um, the lunch bunch. They go out um, and they go to different uh, locations on Thursdays for lunch together. We take our van, so those that don't drive, they can ride with us in the van. Those that drive will drive themselves there. Uh, we try to pick uh, locally uh, owned and operated uh, restaurants to okay. take our members to. Mm -hmm. So we do we do engage. Food's a big deal. Everyone loves food. We do birthday parties. Food's a biggie. Food's a biggie. <laughs> um, so we do try to go out with them as much as we can, um, but we do not provide you know regular lunches. Okay. So mm -hmm. for the members. Uh, what other type of excursions do you take outside of the center? Um, we do different van trips. Um, you know, Mercyhurst uh, University has a wonderful you know arts. Program. Yes, they do. So we actually have scheduled out the winter and into the spring, and we are taking some of our members to those in the evenings. Really? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, oh, we've taken our members them. to mm -hmm. um, Chautauqua. We've gone to Buffalo, to Cleveland. Um, so really, if they say, hey, this is something we think we might like to do, mm -hmm. we do look into you know, feasibility of it, um, and can we, can we take them to do that? Um, we've taken them to ball games. We've you know, gone to other centers where maybe they were having a learning lecture that, that our individuals could benefit from, mm -hmm. so we will take them there. Um, so really, we'll go anywhere so that they have fun. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Do you bring speakers? We in do. House? We have and learning lectures. What are lectures. some of the top topics that you we have range? Touch base on? Um, you know, we do that. The I don't want to say typical, but you're you're hearing lectures mm -hmm. and, and things like that. Um, we've had chiropractors come in and talk about chiropractic health. Uh, we've had nutritionists come in and talk about nutritional health and wellness. We also bring people from the financial world in to talk to our members too, oh, okay. um, to talk with them about you know advanced planning. Um, to even talk about investing in the stock market. We have a group, we have an investment club that meets once a month. Do they really? They do. Oh my gosh. They do. And, and they're learning as they go. None of them invested prior to this club. Mm -hmm. and, and now they come, they meet, they manage their investments. It's, I mean, it's a really cool thing to see them get into it the way that they do. Um, so, you know, we're trying in October, we are having a program for younger seniors to come in and talk about you know, you're getting close to retirement. Have you planned appropriately? What do you need to do? Who can you go to for help? We really want to be a hub for people, not just on the wellness end, um, physical wellness end. Right. But we want to be a hub for, you know, physical, for financial, for community, all of that. And that age group that you were talking about, that 55 mm -hmm. to... 65, almost 70, that age group is, is a group that really do not 
look at themselves as going to a senior center. Right. They don't want to go to a senior center. Right. They want to go to learn. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm noticing about that age group is they want knowledge. Yes. They want control over how they age. Mm -hmm. They want control over what their finances um, look like, how they're going to grow. Um, they want control over understanding, you know, when is it time to downsize? What does that look like? Right. You know, we have a lot of females who are finding themselves, they're, they're single and they're approaching this on their own. And that wasn't what they planned for. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a little bit of catch up there and they want to know all about, you know, how I heal myself. How do I make friends? How do I make friends at, at 55? Where, where are my people? Mm -hmm. and, and we really want to be a place to help connect those, those people. And that's, I'm really glad that you're recognizing that because you've got people that are retiring maybe the 62, mm -hmm. 63, 64, <clears throat> and their friends were in the workplace. Mm -hmm. Okay, now they're gone from that, mm -hmm. and they really don't, the kids are grown, Absolutely. gone. Absolutely. Grandchildren are grown. So they don't really have a niche right there. They, they Well, don't. they feel they don't. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And we really want to work on meeting that need. It's a, a newer need that we've, we've seen mm -hmm. um, and we're acknowledging it's there. And now we want to build the programs to help those people. You know, maybe it means we hold informational um, sessions at other locations. Maybe we don't bring them up to us on the hilltop. Maybe we take it to a location somewhere else. Um, that doesn't feel like a senior center, um, but really meeting them where they are and addressing the needs that they have. What, uh, what I'm learning as I'm talking to you mm -hmm. is that this really, when you, I don't really want to refer to this as a senior mm -hmm. center. As I'm talking to you and listening to the different classes, uh, not just physical, not just health, everything mm -hmm. about it, health and how to deal with arthritis and everything else. Mm -hmm. You are more of an enrichment center. We really are. Mm -hmm. We really are. And we, you know, we really are wanting to grow with right. our new seniors. Mm -hmm. You know, if I am just thinking back to my grandmother, my grandmother was my grandmother from day one, yes. you know, mm -hmm. um, she reminded me she was the very quintessential grandmother. Mm -hmm. Grandmothers have changed. They sure have. And, and we need to change along with them. Right. That's important for us to do. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and you're, I'm glad you're recognizing that mm -hmm. need because um, the day of doing pottery. Yes. Or doing ceramics. Right. Uh, it is gone. It is. It's gone because we seniors. <laughs> We seniors want to learn, and you got it. You, you, you know, it's, it's very true. And mm -hmm. we, you know, we just, there's a need. There's a need, and mm -hmm. it is important um, for us in the nonprofit world mm -hmm. um, to, to fill that need. You know, we, we really want to fill that need. We want to help connect people. Right. Connection is what keeps us going. Yes. And, and we really want to um, continue to build that with our younger seniors. Um, Sarah, I want to go back just a little sure. bit. You talked about you're going to be starting a diabetes yes. program. This is something that I think people are looking for mm -hmm. be, because there are, we don't have, have now a self-serving diabetes, uh, right. you know, association that people can call. Right. What are you going to be able to offer to different things to residents about diabetes? We have a program coming up in September, which we are very excited about. Okay. It's going to be a, a six week program and it is free to the public. Uh, we will be bringing in a nutritionist who will really talk about what diabetic nutrition needs are mm -hmm. um, and really going in depth, yet not so far in depth that, they, that it becomes, you, know, you can't understand what it is. We're going to mm -hmm. keep it simple, um, but make sure that they understand what the needs of the diabetic are. Um, how to prevent diabetes, because I think that's where a lot of people are. They want to understand nutritionally, what can I do prior to a diabetes diagnosis? What can I do to prevent that? So yes. we will be addressing all of those needs. Um, so we're, we are excited about it. And to be able to offer it, not just to our members, but to the public, um, that's, that's really, really big for us. Mm -hmm. It is. It, it really is. You guys are, you're moving with the times. We are. And you have to. You, you have to because um, I appreciate the fact that you are recognizing different needs in the mm -hmm. community with different age groups. Absolutely. Because what I would be looking for um, to go to a place to enjoy myself or to meet people is certainly 
I'm going to be looking for something different than someone Absolutely. that's 85 years old. Absolutely. We have two different and Because they have groups. their needs and what mm -hmm. they're looking for, and very it's much. really not what someone in their 60s is going to Absolutely. be looking for. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very, very different. You right. know, we do a lot of things that other that 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 aren't being done elsewhere. Right. You know, I, I did not mention we have a nurse on staff. We have a nurse on staff that meets with our members. Um, she can do blood pressure screenings. She can talk about their, you know, um, current diagnosis. She can go over their medication mm -hmm. with them, you know, and she's become a real advocate for our members to understand, hey, I was at the doctors and this is what they said to me. I didn't understand what they said. And, you know, some of our members don't feel comfortable saying to the doctor, didn't understand That's that. right. Mm -hmm. You know, so we are also becoming educational, an educational hub for that okay. as well. That is great. Yes. That really, you do have an awful, awful lot to we do. offer there. We I do. know even in, because I know at the Mill Creek Municipal Building, we have the AARP Income mm -hmm. Tax Program. Yes. And I know you guys yes. uh, do it there yes. at the Mercy Center too. We do. And we are doing, uh, coming up, we have an, a driver's safety course okay. um, for them, you know, talking about where should your seat be? How close to the steering? You know, what is the proper setup in your car? How do we help you feel safe in your vehicle? Um, you know, going over those very simple things. So again, try to see a need, fill a need. That's right. Plus, especially with the driving, think about it, how much has changed oh, absolutely. since, you know, they got their driver's license right. years ago. Yes. Now you have cell phones. Mm -hmm. You do have the seatbelt laws. Mm -hmm. There's just distract, distracted driving. Absolutely. There's so many things in place. So, so much has changed. Yeah. So it's good to take that refresher course and Absolutely. just Absolutely. You know, feel a little bit more comfortable behind Absolutely. the wheel. Absolutely. You guys, <laughs> you have it all. We do. You're we offering, do. yeah, you have so much to offer. You're offering we do. everything to so many age Absolutely. groups. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we, we hope to continue, um, you know, to just to meet those needs, continue to, you know, reach out to people who mm -hmm. we haven't maybe reached out right. to in the past. Now, Sarah, how can somebody get more information on so, the Hilltop Center? What they can do is we do have a Facebook page. They can go to our Facebook page. Um, we do have a website, which is under construction, but you can still access our calendar. We put out a calendar of events every single month for our members. Mm -hmm. um, they can contact the center and get put on our mailing list. We will email a newsletter uh, once a month so that they have all the information that they need. Okay, so you have a new, uh, monthly newsletter. We have a monthly newsletter. We have so much going on each month that it is very challenging to put it into a quarterly newsletter. Um, so well, that's true because I printed this off yes. and it's like, oh my gosh, it yes. was never ending. No. But I, I really, I mean, just to look at what you have to offer. Mm -hmm. we, we really do. I mean, as I said, you know, I brought it with me so that I wouldn't <laughs> forget anything because to memorize <laughs> all of the programs, the times of the programs, it is, it is challenging. It is very challenging. And I know it's something I wouldn't want to try yes, and do. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So I, I brought it with me. Oh, Sarah, thank you for joining us. Is there anything you want to tell our viewers? Is there anything that we didn't touch base on that you wanted to, to talk about? You know, I just would encourage anyone who has retired or who is looking at retiring um, to come and take a look at us, mm -hmm. to not assume that we are the senior center of days gone by. We really are so, so much more. Um, we, we are a place of community. If we have people who, who don't come in, we call because we've missed them. We notice they're not there. Um, so stop out and see us. You know, stop out, take an art class. I, I really can't say enough about our art classes. Um, we do an art show every year and, and our, our individual's pieces sell. They're beautiful. Uh, you know, we have talented, uh, caring, individuals that mm -hmm. come and and I would just invite people you know step out of your comfort zone a little bit stop in see us um, and and just try it out try it out you know Sarah you do a wonderful job Thank as I you. said I did get a chance to tour the facility very very impressed mm -hmm. um, I'm so glad I got to meet you yes. too and thank, thank you for you. coming on the show um, definitely you have to stop back let us know different things that you've got uh, in the works we absolutely love to get the word out to our viewers absolutely Thank you. Thank you. Viewers, if you have any questions, please feel free to give them a call. Check out their website, uh, their Facebook page, because I was stalking them on their Facebook page. <laughs> and they, got a lot of, they have a lot of things going on. You're, you're going to want to check it out. 
So viewers, thank you so much for tuning in to the Milker Government Channel. And until next time, have a wonderful day.